Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own custom subdomain for Groove Pages. So what I mean when I'm talking about a subdomain is it'll be whatever is placed right here dot groovepages.com. The main hosting account is going to be groovepages.com. And you can always purchase a domain of your liking from any of the domain sites and link your pages that you create from Groove Pages to that new domain name that you purchase. That's always an option. But if you did not want to spend extra money to purchase a domain, you can actually host it right with Groove Pages. But you have to have a subdomain here, which is this first section here. So you want to give this some thought because this is kind of a brander right here. So you can brand yourself by using your personal name. You could brand a company. You could brand a product. It all depends on how you plan on using Groove Pages. But the key here is you are only allowed one subdomain for your Groove Pages account and no one else will be allowed to have this subdomain, whatever you choose. And once you have this defined, you really don't want to change it because what happens is if you publish a couple pages with this URL and then someday later I come in and I say, I want to change my subdomain to just dan.groovepages.com, assuming that's available. At that point, all your previous pages that you have URLs for within Groove Pages would break. And if you were using those links for social media or ads or blogging, all those links would break. Again, you want to spend some time and figure out what this should be because you don't want to change this once you set it up the first time. So like I previously said, I am going to brand my Groove Pages subdomain with my personal name. All right, so let's go log into our Groove Funnels account and then bring up Groove Pages. Now you can't get to the publishing tools where you change your subdomain unless you have something up and editing. So what you could do is just come over here and click on New Site, click on a blank template, and then once you have something in the editor, now your publishing tool shows up over here. Right click on the down arrow next to Publish, and you'll see the button here. It says Set Groove Pages Subdomain. And you'll see down here right now, it's just set as subdomain.groovepages.com. And that's what everybody will see until they change this. So I'm going to click on Set Groove Pages Subdomain. And then it's saying, Warning, changing will move all existing sites to the new subdomain. And that's what I was explaining previously is once you set this up, you really don't want to change it because that'll break all previous sites that you've created. So again, give it some thought before you do this. But in my case, I'm going to brand it as my name, Dan Fashionbauer, and I'll click on set. Once that has completed, you'll notice over here, it now says Dan Fashionbauer dot groovepages.com slash. So now every Groove page I create, I'll be able to give it a name. That name will get appended to this path here. So if I want to host my page here on Groove Pages, I would just click here, host your site with us, give it a name. And in that case, you would get free hosting of your pages. You would not have to go out and purchase a domain. But in the same panel here, you can connect your page with a personal domain name. So you could go out to any of the domain providers, purchase a new domain name, come in here, and you could add that domain in here and link it to your page by using the C name at your domain register. All right, so that's how you would set your custom domain name for Groove Pages. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.